about the BGC episode 10, season 8. That's right, Las Vegas. Las Vegas style, yeah. Welcome to the Bad Girls Club. To the Bad Girls. Blah, 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 blah. Don't you wish you can roll with us? No. Anyway, today we're going to discuss that guilty pleasure, that stupid ass show, because it went somewhere with it, that no. But episode 10, been waiting for it. Gotta discuss it. Here you go. It starts off with those stupid ass twins. Spongebob chicken heads, right? And they're gonna go down in BGC history for being the Spongebob twins for all time. Yes. Okay. Well, it starts out with them having a conversation with Elise. And Elise, it became um, like some type of phony ass bitch in this episode where she's even sitting there trying to discuss with them about their nasty attitude and blah, blah, blah. And they're sitting there telling her some shit like, this is the bad girls club, Elise. You can act any way you want, but we gotta act like two scumbag bitches, whatever. I mean, that's what they, they didn't say that, but that's what they meant, okay? Let's go. So, anyway, at least it's sitting there like, you guys really need to, you know, act right, behave, behave yourself, and she's trying to act like mommy. Well, meanwhile, in her mind, the wheels are turning, and all the girls got bright ideas, shiesty ideas, to beat the shit out of the twins. And the twins are feeling this, okay? They should. Whatever. So they go, and they go to get read by some reader. She was all like, you guys are where you need to be, and you guys have great hearts, and you know. And she was such a quack, bullshit artist, phony as hell, whatever. Read them all lies and shit, and they fell for it. Boom, right? But before all that, Erica's boyfriend is coming to the house, coming to town, Las Vegas, right? To meet up with Erica. Erica is on cloud nine. She's in love. She's so happy. Oh, goodness. But oh my goodness, how embarrassing it is when her boyfriend comes and he barely even wants to kiss her when he's in, she's in the limo. He comes in and he's like, she's like, baby. And then the whole episode, we see a side of Erica that we did not want to see. The pathetic, stupid, oh, I don't have a daddy, so I'm using my man to be my daddy side of her. It's pathetic, right? So she's all behind this fool and he looks like an oopsie. He looks like all kinds of hot mess and he does, okay? And she's like, he reminds me of my dad, and I ain't, you know, my father and shit, and I ain't fine. So whatever. So she's all up his ass, and she takes him to bowl. She probably paid for everything, or the show probably paid for everything. It didn't matter, because he did I want to be there, a nip. So he's there. He's talking about, I want to go to casino. I want to spend some money and go to casino without you. Boom. Right? So Erica's there with all her fake little bad girl, phony ass, lame ass, bad girl friends, right? And they're all like, Oh, what's wrong with him? We're treating him nice. Really, it's actually Gia the midget that is over there talking to her about it. We're treating him nice. I don't know why he's acting like that, blah, blah, blah. He don't want to be there, right? So the whole episode is her chasing behind him like this. Baby, baby, baby. And she's having sex with him. She does it so everybody can hear. She does it loud on stereo. And she's like, oh, baby, Chris, oh, do me, baby. And he's like, Shh, shut up. Shut up, because you can hear him saying that. He's all like, be quiet, okay? I'm going to do you, and then I'm going to take a shower and get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> right? Whatever. Because that's how he acted. Then towards the end, he got 10 whole hours. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And what happens? He's all like, take me to the airport. I would rather sit in a boring-ass airport, sit on my luggage, and sit there like this and twiddle my fingers and play with my phone then sit there and look at your ugly face for two more minutes. He didn't say that, but that's the vibe, right? So she's all hugging him, begging him, baby, no, baby, I'm getting sick. I need you, blah, 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 whatever. First of all, I say this to say this. Erica made a complete ass out of herself throughout this whole episode. Haven't we all been in love? Have we all been young and a fool and stupid and like somebody that doesn't really like us? I guess. I mean, I've always been that kind of girl that's like, no, okay, stop, stop, all right, no, okay, because first of all, you make them come to you, Miss Thing, you make them come to you, you needed to learn that shit at 12 years old, you make the boys come to you, you need to make all the boys come to you, how you think it is in the cat world, in the wild world, in the wild, the cats go like this, round, round, the cat, the girl cat just rolls around like this while all the boys come around, smelling behind that ass, and that's how it is in the nature. That's how it's supposed to be in real life, and yes, right? So it's not like that with Erica because she's unnatural, right? So she's like, mm, baby, baby. He don't want her. So that's embarrassing, but it made for awesome television because at the end of that, 
he leaves and she's looking all foolish and crying and you kind of even feel sorry for her you kind of even do and I can't stand Erica so I actually felt sorry for her because I really do because I can feel her broken heart just breaking and cracking all over my screen and I'm like baby get yourself a real man boom that fool was just first of all he was a oopsie like I said I don't even know what she saw in him because she ain't even all that but she was all that next to him because he was just there like this he ain't doing shit Right? Whatever, right? Let me tell you another thing about Mr. Chris, her boyfriend, her boy toy, whatever, because he was not her friend. Okay? Her boy, her boy friend of me right there. He was absolutely seeing somebody else because he had that vibe. It just emanated through our screen where you could tell he got a girlfriend and it ain't on the side. She's on the side. He don't want nothing to do with her. He's like, ugh, ugh. And he just was like that. You can't even get this boy to slide up in you and like it. I said it. I'm sorry. I was being crass. So, gee, y'all. Uh, had to bunk with... Elise, while they all sat there and listened, they practically put the glass to the water, practically he ever could have all kinds of sex, whatever, right? So everybody was all interested. Why? I don't know. There was nothing fierce happening with that. He left. Boom, she's alone. Again, right? So they all go out. She turns into a automatic lesbian. Boom. She's all of a sudden, she's a lesbian. She make it out with some girl. Chris just left. So you make out with the first guy. Girl that wants to make out with you. All right, whatever. So boom. So now everybody is still missing Demetria, Mimi, right? So they're missing her lame ass and they want her, even though she's irrelevant. She even said that a couple of times and I was like, yes, you are irrelevant. That's one thing that the Spongebob twins were right about. Mimi was irrelevant. Boom. Well, she wasn't all that irrelevant because she came back, right? She spinned off and came right back into the house with her little lightning earring. She looked like a complete hot mess as usual, right? Because she got that funny Spongebob looking body herself too. Yes, I will go there. So she comes in and she meets up with them in the club. Hey, yeah, right? So, yay, Mimi, yay! Blame. So Mimi's back. The girls are happy. Yay, 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 right? It's the bad girls club, whatever. So they all get together. Take all the twins' food out the refrigerator. Now, this is where it gets real disgusting. This is where you see pigs at their best. You know, just slinging shit like wild monkeys. They slinging shit because they're taking all this food, right? Biodegradable, sticky ass food that rots. And they're throwing it all around their own house. On the floor so they can slip and crack their heads. They're throwing it in the pool where they go swimming, shrimps. And, and then I know that shit just got to smell like all kinds of pussy. And I, I'm going to say it, yes, yeah, shit ass and, and dead cat. Because one of them said, it smells like a dead cat out here. Now, you made it smell like a dead ass cat, you nasty Filthy ass, dirty, filthy, dirty ass bitches, right? Whatever. First of all, that's disgusting. And you can tell that they ain't all raised wrong. They're all macriaus, right? Macriaus raised wrong, right? So they're throwing all this nasty food all over the place. So first of all, if you want to throw away their food, right? Throw it in the fucking garbage, right? Step on it, whatever, flush it down the toilet. You throw it in the garbage. You throw it in the garbage. You spit on it, you know, so they don't take it out. And you just, you know, throw dirt on it or whatever. But you don't go put it in around on the floor. And the, why don't they just... I mean, I wouldn't have been surprised if they would have took the ice cream and smeared it all over their own beds, right? And then take the shrimps and put it in their own couch and stick it, you know. And then supposedly it stinks. Their house stinks. Because even Mimi kind of like mentioned how it still smells the same. And that's disgusting. Whatever, right? So at some point, G is all whopper and shit. She got her Jordans on. Yeah, she gonna get it popping. She's like, yeah, bing, bing, clink, 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 clink. She gonna get it popping, right? So she's all taking it granola and throwing it all over the floor. She got a lot of muscles now because she got all the girls backing her up. You guys got back me up, you guys got back me up, you got back me up, you got back me up. So they all punk bitches just like the twins anyway too. Because they all know that, you know, they got it all ready and set. That, you know, ready, set, go. Y'all all gonna back each other up. Jump, 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 a chump style, right? Whatever. So the twins come in, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Who knows what happened because I wasn't paying attention really to everything and I'm sorry. I know I should be to do this show authentically, but I have my mind somewhere else. I just wanted to see the twins get the ass kicked. I know it's wrong. I know. I know it's my guilty pleasure and I know it's wrong. So I want to sit there and watch a whole bunch of young girls jump on a whole bunch of other young girls. But these young girls were the devil incarnate. I mean, Mimi said something like that and she was right. Anyway, so the twins come in. They see the granola on the floor. It's like, oh, yeah, you know, who's going to clean this shit up? Blah, blah, blah. Because I ain't cleaning it up. The girls are hiding in the room like punk bitches, right? Meanwhile, they had already taken all their clothes out. They already sealed the windows, painted the house. You know, they did all kinds of precautionary things, you know, for, you know, they don't get their shit fucked up. But so first of all, I would have my shit right there on the floor. Be like, yo, touch my shit, bitch. Do it, okay? Do it. But they had their shit all hiding their shit, whatever, right? Because they're all a bunch of scared-ass punk bitches. And a big mouth... 
you know, Queen B Amy, that she's all loud and shit, was hiding up in the closet, hiding up in the hallways and shit. She ain't doing shit. Now, I don't know if she ain't doing shit because she is a real bitch about her shit and she don't need to be jumping the bitch and I would be proud of her. But I think she was doing that shit because she's a punk-ass bitch. Because the last things the twins told them in the room, we're going to mess shit up for y'all. We're going to be get ready. We're going to fuck with y'all all the time. And she sat there in the bed like this and she ain't never, ever came out her face until the end. But anyway, we'll talk about that in a second. So the girls go upstairs, right? One of the twins, who knows which one it was, Danny, Gabby, whatever, right? Takes a garbage pail. That's some real shit, and I do got to give her credit for this because this shit had blood cotex. She would have threw some bloody cotex on me, and I would have lost it, and I would have made her eat it, right? She would have ate it like it was her fucking granola. Crunch, crunch, crunch. So they come up in the room, take the garbage pail full of, you know, nasty cotex, throw it on the little one, Gia. Well, honey, let me tell you, Miss Gia, she had me applauding. Go girl. I mean, she lunged at her like a wild monkey. She grabbed a stick, kaboom, right? Yes, right? <sniffs> Bitch was all over the place. These jumper chump bitches jumped on them and it's tear them all apart. And I was loving it because I just wanted to see them tear them apart, eat them inch by inch, and just leave nothing but the bones. I mean, I really did. I wanted to see some hyenas at work. Yes. Because I got so sick and tired of the evil workers of the twins. I really did. These were bullies. They never took responsibility for nothing. They were evil. They were wicked. And then at the end of the day, they talked about karma. Like, if they didn't have it coming to them. And that shit just trips you out. You just want to see them get eaten by lions, right? So they tear their ass to shreds. The producers come, split them apart. They're like, yeah, we done now because I got to eat my chipotle. Whatever. They go over there, but they still crying to poppy. Daddy, tell me what to do. Tell us what to do because I can't think without you, Dad. Poppy ain't doing shit. He's like, oh, I don't know. Because he's just like Chris, right? He's just like Chris, Erica's boyfriend. He ain't doing shit. He ain't saying shit. He raised them to jump bitches. So when these chump and jump bitches jump them back, then he's like, uh, I don't know what to do. So he didn't know shit what to do, right? Whatever. Not surprised. This is not surprised at all. So the sponges decide to go cool off and dry out in the hotel room, right? They come back quiet as mice, take their little stuff and scatter away like mice but before they leave of course the bad girl lame ass bad girl bitches are at the balcony talking about yeah you got fucked up blah, 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 whatever right whatever don't even remember what they said it was all you know incoherent shit you know because they all had to hold hands and kind of like hug each other to do it meanwhile the twins are like yeah whatever we stay we conquered and we left you conquered what you got your ass kicked you bullied then you got bullied back and you got and you got smashed boom and they squeezed sponges and we all got to see it and yay they didn't conquer shit as far as I'm concerned. They left like sniveling little punk bitches, which can't really blame them. All those bitches was up there acting the same way, a fool, right? So they left and everybody's, yay, we got rid of them, yay! Like if they got rid of some big monsters that was trying to rape them, whatever. These were some two stupid bit ass bitches that they could have been beat the shit out of a long time ago. At least should have took care of that with her big feet and her big hands because she's a tall ass bitch and she could have did something. She could have worked it a long time ago, whatever. So the twins always had on their mind that they want to beat the shit out of Erica. Never got it popping, never got it started. Anyway, the end. So anyway, the twins are supposed to be gone. I'm excited. I'm happy. And I'm sorry if I had to do something about that smile. That but it's daytime. I don't care. I'm relaxing in my bedroom doing this for you. So anyway, like I always say, click like, rate, comment, subscribe. I do this for you. And thanks for watching my show.